New Haven police are investigating a real life Grinch who broke into a trailer at a holiday display and stole from a local nonprofit. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter tells us what the thief got away with and how you can help. At Lighthouse Point Park in New Haven, the daily sounds of the shore blend with the soundtrack of the holidays for Fantasy of Lights. This is our 27th year, and every year we have between 10 and 15,000 cars. It's $10 a car. There's 60 displays through a mile long loop, and you can go through again if you'd like with uh, synchronized to music. It's a popular place to come during the giving season, but one visitor Sunday night came solely for taking. Around 11.30, security footage caught a person walk over to the trailer at the entrance, where he apparently cut the camera's wires. They pried open the back window of the trailer that's right over here to my right, and they climbed in. The safe was bolted to the floor. They managed to get that undone, out the door, and, and off they went. Richard Borer is the president of Goodwill of Southern New England, which puts on Fantasy of Lights as a charity event. This is the largest fundraiser in the greater New Haven area. We'll raise about $250,000 that all go to support our mission of helping people find work. Borer says the safe itself was donated and had $600 inside, along with bank documents. I was really disappointed, you know, that uh, somebody would do that. Um, I recognize these are hard times, but this has been a really tough year for nonprofits across the country. And Goodwill of Southern New England has been hit especially hard. Borer tells me thieves stole 40 catalytic converters from their operations just this year alone. It's just starting to take its toll. Still, Goodwill won't let thieves stall its work or steal its festive spirit. So we're going to continue with our holiday and not be deterred from our mission. In New Haven, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. Anyone with information on the Scrooge who stole that safe is asked to contact New Haven Police. We have their number on our website and app. We're told there were seven robberies in that neighborhood Sunday night.